with our increase in pollution and environmental changes and bad lifestyle i think there is an increase in one particular disease that is infertility it affects both men and women and the estimate says that one in six couple all over the world are affected by infertility so one of the treatment for infertility is iui that is intrauterine insemination what is intrauterine insemination is when a woman ovulates exactly at the ovulation time the husband gives the semen sample to us and we process the semen sample we wash it repeatedly by which we are able to choose the healthy and fast moving sperms and we place the sperms inside the uterus exactly just before or after the ovulation and along with this the couple also follow timed intercourse at home by which we might assist them slightly in improving their chances of getting pregnant that particular month what are the indications who are the couple who can go in for an iui Uh, treatment or the process for men mostly it is for unexplained infertility where we are not able to find a reason why the man or the woman is not able to get pregnant number 2 will be anything related to sexual dysfunction if the man has an erectile dysfunction not able to perform sexual life then probably iui can help them number 3 will be motility issues when there is very less amount of motile sperms then there is a delay in conception Number 4 unhealthy sperms and low sperm count can also be one of the reason. Number 5 is when we are using a frozen semen sample or a donor sample. When coming to women the reasons could be again unexplained infertility or sometimes irregular peri- periods and polycystic ovary or an anovulatory cycle where the woman doesn't get her periods every month. Number 3 it could be mild or moderate endometriosis. Number 4 if the woman has some sexual difficulty like vaginismus. Number 5 when there is an increase in age. The woman is more than 30 or 35 years of age and you want to get her pregnant faster. Number 6 is poor ovarian reserve or poor egg quality. How are we preparing an IUI sample is through different preparation techniques. One is swim up simple wash technique. and third will be density gradient so these three are different uh, process which we use for preparing an iui sample for insemination in swim up method there should be equal amount of semen sample and the media added to a conical test tube and if the semen sample is 2 ml 2 ml of the sperm wash media is added to it and it is centrifuge centrifuge at for 10 minutes at the rotation of 1200 rpm per minute so after 10 minutes you see a two different layer that is the upper layer will be a supernatant and the lower will have the pellet so you remove the supernatant slowly with a pipette and then keep the pellet with you again add 2 ml of sperm wash media to it again centrifuge it for 5 minutes at 1200 rpm again you will have a pellet forming at the lower end remove the supernatant keep the pellet with you again add a uh, sperm wash media again mix it gently without disturbing it much as gentle as possible and then incubate it for 30 minutes so slowly again the debris will sediment sediment and the supernatant that is the top layer of the fluid will have the highly motile and healthy sperms swimming up to the top layer you gently remove the top layer alone which will have the most healthy and fast moving or rapid moving sperms and then taken and inseminated inside the uterus why are we looking into this iui preparation many people think that we don't do anything inside the lab or sometimes we people might think that once husband is giving the sample we are just inseminating it as a raw sample but i think everybody should understand what is happening with them when they are going through an iui and what exactly is happening inside the lab so now coming to the density gradient technique this density gradient technique is mostly done for a poor semen sample that is when the count is very less the motility is very bad morphology is very much affected and there is lot of pusses i think the density gradient has gives us a repeated wash and then gives us a very good quality of sperms to be selected at the end so how are we doing this density gradient it's two different gradients are used one is 80% which is at the lower end of the conical tube the test tube 
and then on top of it we use the lesser density that is little lower density that is 40 percent above which the semen sample is added and this entire um, portion is kept in the centrifuge and centrifuge for at least 10 to 15 minutes at 1500 rpm once you finish this you will have two layers that is one the lower pellet which has got the sperms and the supernatant you gently remove the supernatant that is a top fluid and then take out the pellet again add 2 ml of sperm wash media and again keep it for 5 minutes in centrifuge at 1500 rpm again you will have two layers that is a pellet and the supernatant gently remove the supernatant and again you will have a very concentrated that is 0.5 ml of pellet there so again remove that pellet add some more media and allow it to swim up or keep it incubated if you have time for the swim up to happen so that the top layer will have the most healthy fast moving more viable sperms so let us look into some of the common myths behind iui iui is it a hundred percent successful treatment definitely not it is just little better than a natural intercourse if a natural intercourse gives you a success rate of 20 to 25 percent in a month iui is also equally giving the same percentage only only thing we are assisting or preparing the sample and giving a healthy sperm sample there so repeatedly doing iui for three to four attempts will give us a success rate of 60 to 70 percent so single iui should not be attempted and should not be taken for granted that it will give a 100 percent success rate always be prepared that you have to do an iui at least three to four attempts if you're a young couple i think six attempts of iui can be done totally and doing iui is multiple times more than six attempts is not going to be useful if you're an older couple, I think three attempts of IUI cycle is enough and beyond this, if there is failure, I think you have to move on to IVF rather than repeatedly doing IUI procedures. And how frequently can an IUI be done? IUI, sometimes I see people coming doing an IUI once a year. So doing an IUI once a year is not going to be beneficial at all and IUI should be done every consecutive month or probably every alternative month it should not be done once in a year or once in six months it is not going to improve our success rate another most common fear behind iui's confusion of sample whether we will mix the sample between the patients this is a fear with not just iui even with ivf procedure but we have double id checks for each sample we get one is your hospital id second is your husband's name as along with that the wife's name is also tagged in so that we don't mix the sample and third will be your double witnessing there is also one more person overlooking the lab technician who's preparing the sample so that there is no mix of any sample anywhere and this is some a uh, very important protocol which has to be followed in any lab where the IUI sample is prepared or an IVF sample is prepared for the process. How do I optimize IUI result? Is there a way that we can improve our IUI result? It is definitely important and it varies between the labs, between the fertility centers. So number one, the count should be more than 10 million per ml. The morphology should be at least more than 2% and progressive motility should be more than 20% and the inseminating uh, motile sperm count should be at least more than 1 million per ml. So what are the other factors which can improve your IUI cycle result is how you collect the semen sample. Mostly the IU, a semen sample it should be collected within the hospital premises so that the sample reaches the um, IUI lab within 15 minutes. So once you collect the semen sample within 15 minutes, we should at least start processing the sample. Number two will be your uh, preparation to insemination. So once your sample is prepared, the time taken from preparation to inseminating inside the uterus, that should be less than 30 minutes. And from the women's side, at least we should have two to three follicles developed for that particular cycle. And we should be timing the um, IUI exactly at the right time. So from the trigger in injection to timing the IUI, that is when we are doing the IUI should be calculated in a proper way and we should follow that. And the last would be your whether we are doing a single or double sitting IUI. In our center, we prefer to do a double sitting IUI for most of them so that 
we think that our success rate is slightly better than doing a single sitting IUI. So following these simple steps, I think we can increase the chances of each couple being more successful with an IUI cycle. I hope this video was useful to each one of you. I think we've discussed about all about IUI. And if there is a friend or family member going through this process, please like and share this video to them so that it is useful for them. And if there is any further queries, please reach out to us.